Welcome to Surfaces and Splines, a series of SOLIDWORKS video tutorials presented by the Demani Group. My name is Andrew Lowe. I'm an industrial designer with the Demani Group. And in Surfaces and Splines, we take a look at the production tool-ready modeling of this work flashlight. In this installment, we'll take a look at a fillet washout, where we have a fillet uh, fade seamlessly into other geometry. So here, we're at our starting point and the first thing I need to do is trim this corner out of the fillet or out of the model. The reason I'm doing this is now the fillet will end right here and it's not going to try and carry on uh, to, to this geometry. So I'll apply the fillet and this fillet I'm using a constant width face fillet and not a standard fillet. The reason being is that the angle between these faces is different. This is a much steeper angle than the angle on the front. If I didn't have the uh, cord width option on if it was radial. See how much smaller the fillet is along the front here? I want the fillet to appear visually the same size along this, so I use the cord width option. So I have the fillet uh, applied. You see that it's, it's able to terminate here because these, uh, this solution between these two faces is pretty simple for the fillet. And now I'm going to need to uh, build the washout manually. So I've used the surface extend to add a little more material and then on the top plane I have a sketch that's being used to trim out this geometry. So I have equal curvature here and equal curvature here. Um, and I'm using a style spline. I find they're a little smoother than the traditional spline. I do like the new style spline in SOLIDWORKS 2014. So I'm using this. I also have a line here and I'm going to trim out this geometry. So I split uh, that and now I'll use delete face to remove that geometry from the model and I have an area that uh, the fillet washout can live in. So the next thing I need to do is start modeling the transition. So here I have a I'm going from this edge to this edge and I've just grabbed this connector and dragged it back a little bit. You'll note that this uh, fillet is actually if I turn on the curvature combs on direction 2, we have a lot of bad geometry in here where the surface is inflecting on itself, but I'm not so concerned about that because I only need a portion of this. I can trim it back, but you may be asking, well why didn't I just use surface fill here to complete the transition? So let's grab the surface fill and I'll select open loop, turn off optimize, this edge, this ed or the bottom edge is contact, but the other edges will be tangent. And the surface is okay, but it's not it's not the best. You see we kind of don't have enough direction on how this fillet fades out. So a lot of the time this will give us a good enough result. Um, however, I really don't like what's happening in here. Um, so that's why I'm going to use the boundary surface instead. The boundary surface is going to do is give me a little more control to shape this surface. Now I'm creating a plane between uh, these corner vertices and this plane is going to be used to create a uh, trim. To cut away that bad portion of the surface, simply have a spline that I've made tangent to this edge and I'll use that to trim back the portion of this boundary surface where that inflection was. Now I can knit that boundary surface into the model and finally use surface fill to complete that gap. So I'm, I'm asking the surface fill to do a little less and I have a little more control by guiding the flow of where that fillet uh, terminates along this larger edge with the boundary surface and then patching the rest with surface fill. So to recap, I'm trimming the corner out of the model. This allows the constant width fillet to complete as this corner is relatively simple for it to, uh, to resolve and now I'm going to add a little more material uh, and then I'm using a split line and delete face from the top plane to define the region for our fillet washout. With the blend region created I can build a new surface using the boundary surface tool and this, this bad piece of geometry, this inflection of the surface, this spike in the curvature combs, we'll just trim that out with a surface trim. Finally I can use surface fill to patch the gap. So thanks for watching this installment of Service and Splines. Please follow the Demonic Group on LinkedIn where we'll be posting new videos.